Hey everyone, RC Forby man. How are we all going? Hope we're all doing okay. And if you're not, don't forget to reach out. That's what this episode's all about. Bit of a personal one from the heart. It was difficult to get over the fact of the impact that this particular subject's had on me. It was difficult. It was it was difficult for me to come up with the with the courage to to post this. It's, um, but I just want to drive home the importance of of reaching out. Um, look, just I'll just watch this. I'll just put it all together, and and then we'll have another chat at the end. Hey everybody, RC Bobby man, how are we all travelling today? This one, uh, this post. It's just dealing with when it comes to depression and like things that are close to home. Um, just recently saw an article on television with all the hardships gone going on in the world about a fellow that um, that, uh, that trusted his superannuation mob to do the right thing by him. And of course, when the time came, all the money that he should have had wasn't there. And anyway, it prompted me. There was this was something that I had wanted to do in my own personal life. Um, it. It um, it was the source of a, of a huge amount of depression, um, and I always wanted to maybe one day vent my spleen. Well, I sort of did, um, and I thought if I was to spread the word, it'd be good to put it here. And it's um, this one's about superannuation, so don't go thinking it's anything horrible but it well as you'll see yeah, it wasn't the best but it's all about uh, what would you call it uh, finding ways to deal with depression just watch hey everyone RC Forby Man welcome to the latest episode of RC Forby Man bit of a close to the heart one hello I'm Bruce Wright and uh, if you're watching this at the start you're obviously on my Facebook friends list whether you're family or friends I've got three letters here that I've actually framed the first one here is an annual superannuation statement um, estimate as to how my superannuation is going. Uh, I'm 57 now. Um, I received these uh, eight years ago, uh, and they were saying at the age of 54, um, I would have a balance of $21.41. You may think that's weird after all of the um, after all of the salary sacrificing after. Uh, 9% I think it was, might have even got to 12% toward the end that was contributed, put away for my super, for when I needed it. Uh, yeah, my superannuation. Well, eight years ago, um, I became ill and uh, I had, was unable to continue working, so I've had to, um, I was forced to retire. So now I'm um, retired and I can't work, my health won't allow it. The, anyway, the second letter, this one here is um, was when I got, uh, you, we may soon have to cancel your insurance cover. And I'm thinking, oh, there must be changes, you know. No, no. Um, <clears throat> uh, we may have to cancel your insurance cover because um, there's not enough money in my account. You know, the superannuation account that I was just talking about, where you work all your life and you put all the money away and so when you retire, you've got something. Yeah, yeah. This one here, this is my favourite one. This one here is, uh, good news, your flexible lifetime super account has successfully moved. Uh, we, we are, um, we recently wrote to you about the proposed move of your super account to the super directions funds. Another super fund which is also part of the AMP group. The move was an important part of signifying our business to deliver better values to members. We are pleased to confirm your account balance of, wait for it, $14.74 has successfully moved to the new super fund on the 15th of May, 2020. There has also, wait for it, 
There has been no cost to you to make this move as AMP has covered all transaction costs and associated tax implications. So there you go. Should be able to see it there somewhere. Hey, excellent. So after working all of my life and then becoming ill and not being able to work anymore, but that one thing that I had because, you know, salary sacrifice and all those years of working for all the different places I worked at, you know, uh, Moffat's, Willett's, uh, Gay Constructions, um, Liquid, uh, Oil and Gas, um, all the places that I've worked. One was even called Gay Constructions, you know. Well, how gay is this? Anyway, I thought it was about time to share. There's probably going to be a lot of you out there that are going to find themselves in the same boat. And this is the thing. This is my fault. This here is my fault because I didn't... No, I'm going to rephrase that. This is my fault because I trusted that the Australian superannuation thing would work. And I, 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 I trusted the values of, I don't know, the days of Bob Hawke, I suppose, you know, when if you shook this with another person, that, that deal was done. If you were told when you were apprenticed, yep, they're bringing in superannuation and we're going to be putting money away so when you retire, you're going to have, have all this money so you can go to the movies and, you know, buy a cup of coffee and... 14... $14.74, if I get the right day at the servo, I can buy two dare ice coffees and probably maybe even get a third smaller one because you get, you know, two for eight bucks. One, ten, eleven, oh, and I might even be able to get three full 750 mil dares. Check your supers, don't be an idiot like I was. I've ripped myself off because I trusted that the system would look after me and as you can see, it didn't and it won't. Uh, unfortunately, there's a stack of you out there, my my family and my friends, and hopefully if this is shared, other people that'll go, wow. And uh, you're going to get to your retirement time if you've been as silly as me and you've trusted that it'll be okay. You're going to get to your retirement age and you're going to have nothing. Food for thought. Have a nice day. So, as you can see, um, I've been dealt a bit of a raw deal, I think. Unfortunately, when you hear of people on the news and things like that there, that that um, you go, wow, that's that's horrible. That, geez, I couldn't imagine how I'd feel if that happened to me. Well, it's happened to me. Yeah. The, the most important part about this now is to get some sort of good out of the out of this whole situation and. I'm sure that there's obviously others that have, have similar situations going on and I just wanted to stress the fact it uh, it hit me pretty bad. I'll be back. We'll have another go. Yeah, it hit pretty hard. So uh, the first thing I did was I went and reached out. Popped down and saw a mate at a chin wag it's not cars, it's fucking helicopters. So the first thing I did was I popped around, saw a mate, and went around, spilled me guts, had a chat, and it helped. Helped me, helped me get back on track. And that's the the guts of it. So. This one's important to make sure, I suppose what I'm hoping here is to eliminate a lot of carnage that people, if they take the opportunity now to fix a, sim a similar situation, if they find themselves that they've been in, or are in a similar situation to what I was, uh, hopefully you might still have time to, to, to change things and get something. And so at the end of your super, at the end of your working life, you've actually got your super, not not uh, not fourteen dollars seventy five or whatever it was. Um, hey, still, at least I've still got my health, haven't I? Oh, 
Yeah, no, that's all I don't. Yeah, it's all awesome. Fucking, anyway. Whew. It's just, a, it's just, I just wanted to show that it's real. Yeah, very real. But by reaching out, it helps. So if you're doing it tough, reach out. But on a really positive note, I was wrapped when I discovered these. Oops. On another note, I was wrapped when I discovered these rock crawlers. Gave me the opportunity to get back out, meet with people, give me something to do, give me something to occupy my time. Basically gave me back my job where I had something to do every day. Uh, you know, I get to play with them, I get to build them, I get to meet up with people, I get to talk with random people that bail me up when they come across me out here crawling around. So the rock crawling, that's why, obviously, it's it's a huge, huge thing in my life now. I've got I've got a few things that are that are really important, and unfortunately, I've only got a few. I've got my family, I've got my friends, you guys, and me rock crawlers, and that's why I do what I do. But um, yeah, if you're struggling, it's just really, really, really important to reach out because I know how much it's um, it's just benefited me. Um, I have numerous more times that I could. Um, even even try and tell you, yeah, which is why I do what I do. So, all right. Anyway, I'm going to go and have a bit of fun. I'm going to go and enjoy myself. I'm going to put this thing together with a fresh battery. I'm going to go and have a play. Yeah, uh, really, really happy with the setup I've got in this one now. And even got little, I might be able to see. Oh shit! In the rear springs there, I've even got little wedges there that's just changed the diff angle to a better better spot took a spring out I think there's four in there now one main spring or two two main and then two compensators but uh, yeah with that added, added weight on the rack it's bloody awesome so yep anyway gonna go and have a bit of fun for a change I will see you this next episode which I think is gonna be Oz RC they got their last show and shine Christmas event they got a bit of a hill climby th thing there I think they'll just increase the angles and see if you can get the final one that can get up to the highest. But anyway, we'll definitely get down there and cover that one. And uh, yeah, there should be some nice bling there to feast their eyes over. So, all right, until next episode, love you guys. Look after yourselves. Thanks for the subscriptions. Thanks for all the support. Um, you probably might have <coughs> realised how much more it's important to me. So, yeah, <laughs> when I say love it, really do. Alright, until the next episode, be safe, happy crawling, and I'll talk to you then. I'll see you for